Hi everyone, it's Diana with Dress Tech. It's Saturday night, so I'm getting dressed up and I'm going out dancing, so come along and get ready with me. All right, first step, contacts. There, a little bit of a change already. I obviously haven't gotten dressed up in a long time. You know, I haven't gotten dressed up in about this much time. So I'm gonna have to bring out the uh, little lawnmower here. So, now that that's gone, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'm gonna shave with my razor. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got a smoother shape. Uh, let me go ahead, get my hair out of the way here. It's pretty hot in Sacramento, so I'm going to start up my makeup with Mayron Skin Prep Pro. Uh, this is basically a toner and an antiperspirant for my face, so. Just gonna dab some of that on here. Give it a minute to dry. So the next step is I've got to cover up my beard shadow. Uh, it's hard to see on the camera, but even though I just got a really clean shave, I still have dark hair follicles that are giving my face kind of a bluish tint. So we're going to counteract that with a pink or red color from the opposite end of the color wheel. And uh, this particular one, uh, this is Clown Pink by Mehran. And a um, little bit goes a long way. I'm not putting very much on, because I don't want to look like a clown, but I do want to just dab a little bit on, spread it around, and give my face kind of a pinkish tint. At least in the areas where I have beard. Got a little too much on there. Next, it's time for foundation. I'm using Mayron Cream Blend Stick. And um, I used to use Derma Blend, but this product, it's a lot softer, so it goes on quicker and it blends really nice. And um, if you don't know what shade you need, uh, at Dress Tech, we sell these little tiny samples. So you can buy a few samples, match yourself in the comfort of your own home, and then you'll know which stick to order. And then I just like to use a finger to give an initial blend. Now I'm gonna finish blending this with a beauty blender sponge. And you don't have to buy the the main brand, it's really expensive, but you're gonna wanna get it a little bit damp, and then you're just gonna stipple your entire face. And essentially, as far as I can tell, what this thing does is in areas where the makeup's too thick, it's gonna pick up some of the excess, and in areas where it's thinner, it's going to leave a little bit. So it kind of evens out the foundation. Now I need to set all of this makeup. Mayron Ultra Fine Powder here. I just throw a ton of powder on there. There's no shame. You can't have too much because you're just gonna wipe off the excess. Okay, while I have all this powder on my face, I wanna take a moment to talk about this idea of baking. Uh, you might find online people talking about baking their foundation and what they're implying is that all of this powder is going to create a layer of insulation that will help my face to heat up and thereby bake this foundation onto my face. But as an engineer, I can tell you that a little bit of powder is not a good insulator. In fact, 90.5 degrees, there's no baking going on. So now all that makeup I put on is nicely set. I've got a nice blank canvas to start my makeup. So I am trying an NYX HD uh, primer on my eyelids just to kind of help the uh, help my eye makeup stick and pop a little better. Um, I don't know, I'm still searching for the right primer. I'm not convinced that this is it. If anyone has a recommendation for me, definitely leave me a recommendation below. I'd love to know. 
for my eye makeup today, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I get a lot of questions about my tape trick. So just ordinary scotch tape. I'm applying it just beneath my lower lashes and outwards and upwards. You always want your eye makeup, if anything, to slant upwards, not downwards. It'll make you look like you have droopy eyes. And <clears throat> this tape is going to basically give me a nice clean line. After I do my eye makeup, I'll pull the tape away and I should have a crisp line underneath. All right, so I'm starting with eyeliner pencil and don't worry about doing a pretty job to, smart, to start. I'm basically gonna smudge it around, blend it out a little bit anyway. So just going to get it above the eyelash thicker near the outside of the eye. And now I'm going to go in there with a little diagonal shaped brush and I'm going to try to brush this down into my lash line and smooth it out and blend the edges a little bit. Okay, now I'm just using, it's a, it's got a little smoky eye palette. It has kind of a silvery highlighter and uh, just a few darker shades. Pretty simple. I'm going in with my lid color. Okay, so now I'm going in with a slightly darker shade for my crease. And then in the outer corners of my eye, I'm going to use the darkest shade, which is kind of like a sparkly black. I'm gonna put this on like maybe the outer third of my eye. This is especially important for me. I think my eyes are a little bit narrow and so that helps draw the eyes apart. Make my face look better balanced, I guess. And then I'm gonna take, this is kind of like a creamy white eyeliner pencil, and I'm gonna actually add a little bit of that inside of my eye, just kind of an inner V. opposite side has a little almost like a little foamy racer I'm gonna smudge this in a little bit I'm gonna take this silvery um, highlighter color and I'm going to kind of highlight just below the brow and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of a puffy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and Blend all this together a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and peel away the tape. Wee! I have a nice crisp line underneath my eye makeup. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and darken up my waterline, my lower waterline. I'm going to apply a little bit more of that sparkly black just underneath my lower lash line. Not a lot. Okay, I think at this point I'll stop and I'll contour. This is the Dress Tech Contouring Palette and I'm basically gonna use a shade that's darker than my skin. Where the contouring works is the darker colors make things look further away, the lighter colors make stuff pop out. So, for example, if I put a little bit of dark contour on my jawline, it's gonna make it look kind of deeper and more rounded. I can also bring out my cheekbones and things like that. So uh, you can make your face look more feminine uh, with contouring. You can contour with cream makeup. The cream blend sticks come in white as well as contouring shades. And to some degree you get, I'd say, more professional results. But if you're newer to makeup, definitely start with powder. It's a lot easier to blend out and make things look even. It's just, I guess it's more drastic when you work with the 
uh, clean makeup and you're more likely to screw up. I'm going to go ahead and apply some to my jawline. It'll make that look a little bit more rounded. And a little bit on the sides of my nose will make my nose look a little bit more narrow. And then I'm going to take a highlighting shade uh, and put some under my eyes. Kind of make my cheeks, my cheekbones pop a little more. A little bit on my chin. Bridge of my nose. Right up into the forehead. Now you can take a look at my contouring. I know it looks ridiculous right now, but the next step is to blend all that together. And voila, now it's a little bit more reasonable, right? Now I'm going to add a little definition to my brows. This is just some cheap brow makeup by e.l.f. and I'm going to use the darker shade here. If you have bushy brows you can either trim them which is better or you can use like a clear mascara and that really helps keep them a little more tidy. But anyways on to lips. So I'm going to start with my lip liner. And this is really an opportunity. You can change the size or shape of your lips by drawing them in differently. Um, I already have pretty full lips, so I pretty much just trace my. Now on to my lipstick. And then a little bit of lip gloss. Now I like to put this on my bottom lip. I put it kind of in the middle and then I add a little bit to my cupid's bow. So for cleavage today, I'm going to be using the Dress Tech Cleavage Tape. Normally I wear our cleavage bra. I'm going to do some pictures and while the cleavage bra is a lot more comfortable, good old cleavage tape lets me pull a little more aggressively. Alright, so let me get the tape started over here. I'm going to pinch my cleavage together and up. Pull that nice and tight. Now I'm going to go from the other side. I'm going to start over here. By the way, this is something I've been playing around with lately. This is just the cap from a makeup stick and I've covered it with tape so that it matches my skin tone. I'm just going to kind of shove it in there like that and that kind of gives me a little bit of a gap in my cleavage, uh, you know, rather than a tight cleavage. I want it to look more like two separate breaths. So that's going to work very nicely. I'm going to be wearing tonight. These are my dress tech pro forms. And um, this is my normal breast form. This is the traditional shape. We also have an enhanced shape, which is kind of a full rounder style, but I like to go for more of a natural look. I don't remember which bra this is, but it's a pocketed bra from Amona. It's pretty nice. I've, there's a lot of cheap ones, but Amona makes nice stuff. So in order to make this cleavage pop, I'm going to go back to the Dress Tech Contouring Palette. I like to use kind of my breast form as a fulcrum. I put my wrist on it, and I'm basically going to... back and forth with some contour makeup. I know this is looking really dark. I'll be able to blend that in. 
gonna typically go in with a slightly darker shade. Uh, cleavage should look deepest kind of in this area. So I darken that up a little bit. And then if you want, you can also apply a bit of a highlighter color up here, down here. In any event, now it's time to blend that in. So back to my this brush here. And voila, cleavage. Time to start padding up my hips and uh, give myself a nice feminine figure. So let me go grab some stuff and I'll be right back. So tonight I think I'm going to wear a very short skirt. So I will be wearing the Drastex silicone hip pads in the short style. And related to this, there are a couple of new products that I'm really excited sh to share with you because I've been working on these for a long time. Uh, first we have the new Drastex prosthetic antiperspirant. And this stuff is awesome. Uh, basically this has 15% aluminum chloride. That's the most that's allowed by the FDA without a prescription. So very strong, it'll help keep you dry. Um, and it doesn't have much else. A lot of the other antiperspirants out there have fragrance or aloe and stuff like that. That leaves more residue on your skin. And that's a problem because if you use it under your breast forms, that residue might mess up your makeup. And if you glue those breast forms on, it might mess up the adhesive. So uh, basically this is a low residue formula because we don't want to mess any of your makeup or adhesive up. So in any event, uh, we also have this new Shape and Go garment. And this is just like the Spanx brand. It's not a cut and sew garment. This is a seamless knit garment. So all this like shaping butt detail and stuff is actually knit right into the garment so you don't have seams where things were cut and sewn. So this is basically a very smooth garment that's going to be invisible beneath your other clothing. But not only will this hold your hip pads on, but this garment is crotchless, huge crotchless. Um, that lets us go to the bathroom without removing our hip pads or butt pads. So um, you can go number one, you can go number two, super convenient on the nights out. I love it. It's long overdue, but here it is. It's the new Shape and Go garment. Um, I'm going to be wearing this tonight because <laughs> it's so convenient. Okay, I want to give you a quick peek of my Shape and Go garment and hip pads. So, that's the Dress Tech silicone hip pad. Gives me a nice shape. My girlfriend has been feeding me too much, so I'm gonna have to wear one of these Dress Tech waist cinchers. And that's how to get a feminine figure. Okay, can't forget a little bit of bling. I don't know if I like this wig. I mean, it looks kind of sexy, but the hair is so fine. It just goes everywhere. So I'm gonna need a little bit of this stuff. Whew. So I just did my nails and I'm pretty much ready to go. Let me show you my outfit for tonight. And uh, I love these shoes. They're four inches, but they're actually quite comfortable. So I can dance in them and I won't complain. <laughs> but uh, in any event, my friends are about to pick me up. We're grabbing some dinner and we'll be off to the club. So hopefully you're having a good weekend too. And if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to click the subscribe button right over there. Bye.